It's that time of year again. The time when you're rushing to split wood that you should have split last spring. And many will ask the question that has been asked for centuries. Which splitter actually delivers the most power? So which splitter delivers the most energy, the most power? Is it the large splitting maw swung very slowly? Is it the medium weight splitting maw swung mediumly? Or is it the lightweight splitting ax swung very quickly? Mass times velocity equals energy. So can you swing a lightweight splitting ax fast enough to equal the same amount uh, or more energy than the heavier weight uh, splitting maw swung very slowly. But real quick, before we show you the numbers, I just wanted to point out what this video is not. This video is not which one of these splitting tools is the most efficient or which one is the most effective. And those are two different things, by the way. Uh, this is simply showing uh, if you can swing a lightweight splitting ax fast enough to equal the same amount of power as a heavier one swung more slowly, if that makes sense. Which one of these can you swing to deliver the most power? 16 pounds, nine ounces. Four pounds, nine ounces. Okay, so here's the total weight of each splitter. All of these were recorded at 960 frames per second, and all of these were also swung about as hard as I can possibly swing them, which isn't very hard. I then counted the number of frames and the distance that each one of the splitters traveled and figured out its velocity. An interesting side note here, I have about two seconds to hit the stop record button on my camera after I hit the uh, wood with the splitter in order to save the recording. Uh, if I am outside of that two second window, then I lose the recording and I gotta start over. So they made for an interesting couple of seconds dropping the log splitter and diving for the camera. And here are the results. With the heavy weight coming in for the win, at 968 foot-pounds or 1,312 joules of energy. That is just over twice the amount of energy that our lightweight splitting axe delivered. The surprise here was the medium weight splitter weighing in at 11 pounds 6 ounces versus the heavy weight at 16 pounds 9 ounces. We have 866 foot-pounds of energy for our medium which is uh, only 100 foot-pounds less than our heavy weight, and it is around 5 pounds lighter. So you get almost the same amount of energy with the medium uh, weight splitter at a whole lot less weight. So the smarty pants out there are going to realize that we have a problem with this test. Actually, we don't have a problem with the test per se. We have a problem with the splitters. Let me show you. So the problem that we have here is with the handles. These handles are steel and they make up a fairly significant portion of the overall weight of our splitter. Steel, steel, wood. And I think that that might explain the very large gap that we have between the lightweight splitter and the medium or the medium and the heavyweight splitters is because we're basing our calculation off of one single mass, which is the entire weight of this whole splitter, moving at one velocity. I don't know how to figure out the weight distribution on each one of these splitters and then figure out exactly how fast that's moving when you know we're splitting the wood. It's just, that's just way too complicated. You probably need some uh, really expensive engineering software in order to figure that out. Um, but I do have a solution to the problem. Let me show you. So 
I just happen to be lucky enough to have these two hammerheads kicking around my workshop. The big one is 16 and a half pounds and the smaller one is eight and a half pounds, which is just about perfect. We'll quickly put some handles on these and we're just gonna do the calculations based on the weight of the hammer heads and the ax head itself to get a better idea of how our energy compares. And again, I swung all three of these about as hard as I possibly could. And I did this three times and took the average for the final numbers. Here's the final numbers. And these are based solely on the weight of the hammer heads themselves, excluding handles and the ax head, excluding the handle. I cut it off and weighed it. So we have 16 pounds, eight ounces for the large eight pounds eight ounces for the medium and the lightweight was three pounds eight ounces these are all without the handle so the energy was calculated based solely on how quickly that mass was traveling when it impacted the uh, wood so it looks like if you want power you're gonna want to swing the heaviest splitter you cannot swing a lightweight splitting axe fast enough to produce the same energy as a heavier one swung slightly slower. These are sort of expected results, but I've been surprised before and now I know as well as you. But wait, these are the results swinging as hard as I can. That's not very sustainable. What if I swing at a more reasonable all day pace? I think a lightweight splitting ax is easier to swing hard than a heavier one. So let's compare the heavier ones swung very lightly at an all day pace to the lightweight splitting ax swung hard. And you can see the heavier ones swung easy still beat the lightweight ones swung hard. It seems if you want power, you need weight, no matter how hard you swing. In order to get the same energy out of the smaller splitting axe as the larger one, you would have to swing the small splitting axe at 117 feet per second, which is something most likely not possible, unless you attach a much longer handle. Hmm, maybe in another video. If you have any ideas or suggestions on this topic, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.